dagger, we go for uh, what do you call this? The the ball. <laughs> <laughs> the soccer ball. <laughs> Instead of a dagger, for, we go for a soccer yeah. ball. Yeah, yeah, the soccer ball. Yeah, man, I think uh, Team Myanmar, they're left with no choice here. I think uh, Team Laos drove the draft. Right, because mm-hmm. they they banned hyper carries, they banned out the Lancelot, and there's nothing left for yeah. uh, Team Myanmar. Because again, uh, even in the tanks department, right, um, Team Myanmar uh, uh, was uh, oh, for Team Myanmar. Their only choice was the Cupra right now, because mm-hmm. one of the best tanks in the game there is. So yeah, I also think that um, Team uh, Laos got the upper hand in the. In the draft, but we shall see. Because again, a Bruno right now for me, a, a carry versus a Bruno in the late game, Bruno wins. Because the carry, it will just take the Bruno one or three hits, two to three hits, for him to delete the carry, and the carry needs four hits. So yeah, <laughs> understand. Yeah, I, I do. I do get it. Like if, if the conditions are right for the for the Bruno, can be able to farm. We'll see. Again, it's gonna be dependent on how they are able to farm this out. Oops. As we now head into the game, man, Gene. There you go. Team Laos versus Team Myanmar. Oof. It's going to be the carry versus the Bruno show. And so far in the middle already, the bouncing ball has been committed. This means that when it comes to wave clear, it's going to favor Team Laos at this point. You have to yeah. be always careful on how you on how you preserve your skills so that you'll be able to get the farm in the middle. It's always the case of contention for both for most teams. Yeah, man. Uh, interesting choice of uh, spells here for Team Myanmar. They want to uh, dodge the Fatal Links from the Atlas with the four Purifies. But as I say this, there's an off-cam kill somewhere in the map. Team Myanmar, they were able to get one. I think it was... Oh, it was the Jawhead there in the bottom lane. Yeah. Nice outplay from the Thames, Royal Milk. Whew. Now... Oh. All right. Yep. There you are. I thought I lost you, man, Gene. You yeah. all of a sudden just uh, uh, sorry. stopped speaking, <laughs> I thought. Well, anyways, yeah. um, we're, we're, we're seeing that now. Some variation of the funnel strategy from both teams. Um, bottom lane, there is a uh, shot up on the Jawhead, who actually <laughs> did not start with, an eye, uh, with a wooden mask. Monster While on the other end, it's just two mask of, uh, a, a two mask setup least for Team Myanmar. So we can see some differences when it comes to like the overall experience in the gold, particularly a little bit more on the side of Team Myanmar. But that's only because they were able to get the kill up top. So this means that sometimes the, the ma- mask strategies work, but it's more often on how you execute it. Like for example, bottom lane, because there's no mask available for this jawhead, the level uh-huh. of the thumbs is much higher as compared to the jawhead. Yeah, it really depends on who controls who in the yeah. early stages of the game. But speaking of control, that is a jump coming from Sam, 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 and Peter mm-hmm. will fall uh, b- due Ooh. to the fact that the Esmeralda is just too tanky. And Sham, Sham, Sham will proc that start the stance to actually get out. And that will be three kills for Team wow. Myanmar. I think, man, the one thing to take note here for Team Myanmar is they have the vision control because of hiccup with this Popol and Koopa. Still, this is just one tough uh, hero to beat, especially in the mid stages. Yeah. Where you have these traps and you have this extra unit with you to be mm-hmm. a sacrificial lamb. Yep. Yeah. With all, here comes the dive, but a good punish coming out from Shut Up on the Jawhead. Make sure that they shut down Royal Milk, the Thames. Which means that they will get uh, at least a kill now in the early game, early stage of the game. One thing that we have not talked about yet is this Bruno is actually yeah. having so much farm right now, so much time in the side lanes already mm-hmm. with 1.9k compared to 1.7k mm-hmm. of this carry. So yeah. that's uh, uh, importantly that they had. Now they catch Dream right now, but Dream will be able to run away. In comes the Atlas, some pressure Ooh. and some damage coming out from the Bruno. The Fatal Links is there, but as well as Bruno's damage. Those oh critical my. balls really what? hurt yeah. right now. Sham, yeah. sham, sham, though. The, the nice great balls of fire. From Peters, but it's not yeah. going to be enough as they are able to get away. But the turtle will be taken by the Bruno. 
Yeah, man. I think those are the great balls of fire. The great balls from, of fire from Yellow Flash. Yeah, and yeah, dude. One thing uh, I like about the Bruno pick is that you can actually uh, push back the mm -hmm. Atlas whenever he goes for the the Fatal Links initiation. Because yeah. you you can actually see it like coming from a distance if he pops the 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 double team the the uh, the squid if he goes for the squid initiation yeah. you can just easily go for the vol uh, wave of the world and it will knock back the atlas and you and that's an instant disengage coming in from team Myanmar but meanwhile royal milk and trouble here in the bottom side nice pick up there from team Laos they were able to get the tur turret though so that's Tam sacrificing his life for a turret take. While onto the bottom, some pressure by Chun as well as this uh, Atlas. Mm -hmm. The getaway as well. But while this is happening, the objectives really are favoring Team Myanmar right now. You can yeah. see that top lane, there's the turret push coming out from Yellow Flash. Mm -hmm. oh, beautiful name for this Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like Super Sentai. Yellow Flash! But actually, yeah. Manjit didn't know that Yellow Flash is Naruto's dad. Oh really? Really? Yes. I, I I did not know that. I hope I hope I'm yeah. correct actually. But yeah, yeah I, I know that he's called the yellow flash. Because he's his hair is yellow and he's yeah. so quick. Yeah, he's so flashy, right? So flashy. <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> yeah. Alright, yeah. so shout out to our Naruto fans there. But this is yeah. not Naruto. This is Moma Legend. Sam Sham Sham now falling low. Half out. PK goes for Tyrant's Revenge. But Shun is here. Pops the speeding light. Will, but the dog is here to save the day. And no casualties whatsoever for Team Myanmar. Meanwhile, they're now wrecking Hub up in the mid lane. Shun will pop up that Purify to survive. But his ally won't. As Dream will die in the hands of Royal Milk. Team Myanmar now dominating this mid lane and now taking control of the game. Okay, so at least that's one thing that's in favor of uh, Team Last for a bit. But because of the fact that the objectives are really in favor in Team Myanmar now with yes. three turrets and contention to the turtle at this point it's looking harder for team laos to move up in the economic battle that we have right now and we were talking about how important it is to get the farm on the carry and that's not happening right now yeah. well they do get the farm the carry but the thing is they're not stopping the farm on the bruno who's just mm -hmm. constantly farming at this point now onto the bottom lane they're able to dive and take out the shut up jawhead in yeah. here oh okay did you see that though nice dodge nice from dodge. dream you know what the concussive blast is so good on the kufra right now it, it gives him extra proc of damage so sometimes yeah. uh, what the what kufra players do is that they just uh go for the bouncing ball but speaking of bouncing ball there you go that is the hug from the kufra plus a double kill from yellow flash that's so flashy now team Myanmar, ladies and gentlemen this is Bruno, the Bruno damage is just too real for Team Laos to handle. Oh, Killing that. spree. There you go. Chris Keep the flames burning. The fire is now burning on the dance floor. Sham, sham, sham. Too confident here in the base of Team Laos. Kind of little, a little bit of sour moves there for Sham, sham, sham. But um, it's okay because the plan was to give Yellow Flash the opportunity to take this free tower in the top lane. Sar moves indeed, but the push in the middle. It seems like Team Laos are going to be able to defend the middle, but not their top lane where the inhibitor was at. They were able to punish Sam Jam Sam and the Esmeralda, but not totally because the push still commends from the Bruno. Onto the bottom, they kind of want to go on the stamps. Nice flicker, some sidestep coming out from Royal Milk as Hiccup. And the rest of the gang are actually preparing for a jump. They will not push through though. By the way, man, Jean, we still have. We still have uh, the third turtle. It's way too early, but the lead for Myanmar is already massive. Nice usage of the Purify in there. Coming out from mm -hmm. the Uranus, so that he will not be clapped by that Kufra, but they are still taking over the map. Look at the map now, Manjin. It's all red as Myanmar is taking over so much real estate at this point. Yeah. And man, Royal Milk just drinking all of the of his calcium here in the bottom side is dominating this lane there you go bruno yellow flash is now unstoppable that is the proc of the halberg 2 coming in from hiccup good item choice there to counter the uranus this is just 
good decision making for Team Yan Marwolf. They're not really forcing any team fights. They're just playing with the objectives and getting it all done. Team Myanmar now getting the mid lane tower and Shun not enough damage to counter this. There you go. Nice Siren's Rage there for, for DK. And he and man, Team Myanmar. I think this is now the beginning of the end, Wolf. It is. It seems like it is the beginning of the end now for Team Lao. Jump Ooh. from Esmeralda, gonna miss the mark. Where's the Fatal Link? Still not intact though. They are getting punished, they are getting beat down! Team Myanmar are diving and they take out the Atlas! They also took down the turret in the bottom lane. That's the inhibitor down. And Team Laos, it, they're fighting it hard to defend. Look at the Kufra just jumping, but they don't care at all. With no, They don't even need stuns at this point. Yep. The Star Moon with the jump. They're so brave right now, even under the base of oh, the jump coming out from the Kufra. Catches one in the Tyrant's Rage. Where's the damage though? There's the punishment of the Kufra, but Team Myanmar will win this.